What is good all you dogs and young spoilers? You're back with another video. New environment. I'm in a hotel. I'm in San Jose, California, but I have an Apple iPad Pro 11 inch with me and I want to talk about why I got it and how much I loved it. There are so many different iPads out there that you could choose from ranging in price, performance, design, size. There's a lot of different categories. However, the iPad Pro 11 inch is what I chose because I feel that it is right for me. And here's why. So I wanted to break down this video into three major categories to keep it more narrow down and simple to kind of compare the different iPads. Cause obviously there's a lot of information about each one, but here are the three major different features that this iPad pro offers that the other iPads don't. First is the design. So yes, the other iPads have great design and they're made out of great quality, but this iPad pro is much more premium in my opinion. I think it looks way better. It's made out of full aluminum body. It's got barely any bezels. It's got that face ID, which means you don't have to make more bezels for the fingerprint sensor. It's got squared off edges, so thin and light and easy to hold. It looks great. I'm a huge person in looks. You know, I love to have a device that looks really good along with performance and that space gray color on this new iPad is unreal. I love it, they have it on the Macs and now it's on this iPad, it's great. Second thing, and a very important one for me specifically as a YouTuber is performance. And I know once again, yes, the other iPads are great performers as well. They're very optimized for the iOS software and perform great. However, I know that this iPad Pro will never give in on me. I know that it can edit video, edit pictures, watch YouTube, play games, play music all at the same time and it won't lag one bit because this thing is actually just as powerful if not more powerful than some computers out there according to benchmark scores and that's really impressive and I needed to make sure that this thing would not lag. So the iPad Pro is significantly better performance than any other iPad out there and as a YouTube creator like myself, I need that. Other thing about performance that is super underrated about this iPad is battery life. Battery life is absolutely insane. I don't think I've used another Apple device that has better battery life than this iPad. I've been playing this new game called Bloons TD um, 6, I believe it is. Yeah, and it performs unreal, first of all, but it lasts for a very long time. Like if I was to play this game for three hours, uh, I still wouldn't be low on battery. You know, like this iPad easily gets through a day and that's very important when it comes to portability and being able to use this iPad on the go. The last thing, the third thing that definitely isn't the least, but actually the most important influencer in me getting this iPad and that's the display, that 120 Hertz display. It's not even the resolution that's really great about this display because all displays nowadays in the day and age that we're in have great resolutions. It's that 120 hertz that just make using this iPad so enjoyable, so precise, scrolling through web pages, editing photos, using that Apple Pencil is all just so precise. Being able to you know enjoy what you're doing on the iPad and honestly something as simple as scrolling through web pages have been unbelievably fun to use. And yeah, I am a tech guy, so I do notice these kind of things, but I guarantee you, even if you are not a tech person, you will notice the difference between this 120 hertz display and a 60 hertz display in the other iPads. It's a very, very important differentiating feature in this iPad Pro that influenced me to get it over the other ones. So there are the three major features that differentiate this iPad Pro from any other iPad out there. I hope that this information helped any of you that are in the market for a new iPad. Yes, there are a ton of options out there, but this iPad Pro may be right for me. It doesn't mean it's right for you. Just get the iPad that suits your needs and your usability most. If you're just a media consumption and that's it, that's all you wanna do, I'd go for the cheapest iPad at 329. If you want a little bit more power but don't need the power of an iPad Pro, maybe go to the iPad Air. If you really want that power and you want to be, uh, you know, creating videos, editing photos, I get this iPad Pro. They're all different options because they suit a lot of different people. So check it out. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Shmai you later.